So right now it's not rainy, it's pouring for Jub Jub because Kelly Kumalo is in the list of the women that are alleged saying Jub Jub raped them. So um, she is coming, gunning out actually like Haki Smokey, saying that um, Jub Jub has raped her multiple times and actually he did put a pillow on her, suffocating her. We'll just break that one down and how this whole thing unfolded and how multiple times did he actually do this whole thing that it's just it's just all over the place. It's all over the show. This whole thing is just getting out of hand. You don't know where is the tail, where's the head in this thing. It's just a mushy thing. And I don't know if the prosecutor will know how to en entangle this thing because it's like it's too much. It's too much to handle. And um this time I don't believe Chipchip <laughs> will will be scorn free because this whole thing is just a drama. If you're talking about it, I haven't seen someone who's, who's been, oh my God, he's been so dragged like crazy. Um, In our lifetime, I haven't seen someone who's been dragged like this. It's like seven times seven, if you know what I mean. <laughs> so, okay, we'll talk about this one. Kelly Kumalo actually says that um 2010, they moved in together. Remember that um actually Amanda said, uh, 2019, they actually separated with Jujub. So it's alleged that Kelly Kumalo moved in in 2010. So she says that um they went to their friend's house actually, and they were there partying, cooling down, and stuff like that. Then, um, he, he, she was actually um having a nice time with Jub Jub. Remember, this is Jub Jub's friend's house. So she says that um, he actually dragged her and then he was assaulting her actually in front of the friends. So he's saying that he actually pushed and strangled her. Right? So she says that she was eight months pregnant when this whole thing happened. And then she was taken to the clinic uh, the following day because uh, she had the, um, the pains because she was actually eight months pregnant. And um, that means she has medical record when she's speaking about um, being taken to um, a clinic, right? And remember when they're the taking this thing to the court, this whole thing has to come out the records why was she in the clinic what time was she in what did she say happened when she was there in the clinic those things will matter in courts so okay now she's saying the other thing happened when she was working in rhythm C. now this time she was independent like widely independent because her music was doing well she was acting now she's saying this thing happened and um Jup Jup actually uh, said that she's actually having an affair with one of the actors of someone in the Rhythm City set. So she was um beaten by Jup Jup for that, actually slapping her. She's independent. Um she had a best friend, if I remember correctly, I won't say the name, but I she was so close, 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 close to the best friend. And I don't say anything, but other than she she had a safe place to go to. She could have left the relationship. This woman was so independent to the core. I don't know why would she stick around with Jub Jub with this whole thing as she says um, they happened, right? She says the other time her nose was, in, was injured, um, Jujub smashed her nose. Actually, which of she still has a medical record on that because she went and got the stitches and stuff like that. Then in this whole thing um, of being beaten um, in the nose and stuff like that, she still has a scar on the nose to show for it. Why would you wait and still have a scar to show? It's like she's proud saying that um, Jub Jub put a scar on me and then I'm stuck with this scar forever to be reminded that Jub Jub did this. Why would you stay till someone put a scar on you? I mean, this woman was 
merged multiple times. It, it wasn't the first time. She was independent. Why would she stay with Jup Jup saying this whole things happened? These are horrible things that she's saying happened, but she stayed, right? Moving on, now she's saying that her mother, her sister was also assaulted by Jup Jup in their home. He went from nowhere, went to where the mother stays and the sister and assaulted them. I mean, okay, moving from that, he was spitting on her face. This was actually a profound um, artist, actually actress, someone spitting on your face. You don't leave, you don't leave the relationship. Why would she stick? She's saying that uh, those things happened to her. Um, this is the common one. Our women, when they were abused, they do talk about someone spitting on their face and they still stay in the relationship. Wanting the body back. I don't understand. Really, I just don't understand why would Kelly stick around things like that happening to her and she was sky high celebrity that time. So, okay, moving on. Now she's saying that the other time, um, actually, when this thing happened of a pillow suffocating her, she's saying he had a court appearance that day. He raped her after raping her. Actually, while he was still raping her, he was putting a pillow suffocating her. Can you imagine being raped at the same time someone is putting a pillow on your face like you can't breathe? It's just trauma. Traumatizing is too much. You have a name out there. You, you are somebody. You still endure and sit. And because if we are talking about Kilkumalo and um Jujub's relationship, the only thing that came between them actually is this thing of God. Not because Kelly Kumal just left the relationship and it was over, you know. So there's something that I'm not getting in this whole thing. Anyway, as the, the proceedings will be going on, because I believe this is going to be a dragging one, it's going to come for years and years, and then I will be here for it. Um, I want to know all these things that I'm asking. Why didn't she leave? I wish Jub Jub's people could ask her, what was it for her in this relationship that she couldn't live so much after this whole thing has happened to her? You know, I just don't understand this whole thing. Okay, maybe that's why she's hating him so much <laughs> because of these things that she endured. You know, you endure, you endure, and you think that this person will change. You endure, you endure, they don't change. And you think, of, fuck, I've... I've, I've actually wasted my time sitting in this whole thing. Um, nothing is, has happened. Why did I stay? I believe she's one of those people right now who are like, why did I stay? Okay, we'll see you next time. Bye.